I'm Marlene LaRue and it gives me great pleasure to announce that the Arts Ability Festival is going ahead from the 3rd of November to the 3rd of December. Amidst COVID-19, a global pandemic, the Arts Ability Festival, which has been founded by Unmute Professional Dance Company, that is a visionary company that is a home for persons with disabilities and persons without disabilities. This company, Unmute, who breaks boundaries and borders all over, is a home for everybody. My name is Nadine McKenzie. I am one of the co-founders and current artistic director of Unmute um, Dance Company. The Arts Ability Festival. The festival was founded in 2014 when we initially launched the festival as a one-day program. And the main idea behind the Arts Ability Festival was to create more platforms that is accessible, inclusive, and integrates people with and without disabilities from different um, arts forms into one space. Amidst COVID-19, we needed to look at the theatre and productions totally in a different light and the way we need to operate. Unmute has took up this challenge with the Arts Ability Festival for this year to stream this particular festival to everybody, South Africa and globally. This year's festival, a theme is called uh, Shift Online, which is also the theme that was used for the previous um, festival in 2019. The idea behind Shift Online was about shifting back to the vision and, and main aims of the festival and why it exists. And that is creating works for people and with the people and within the spaces whereby people reside in their home spaces. My name is Tim Bamboli, Festival Director and uh, Co-Curator of Unmute Arts Ability Festival. The 2020 edition of Arts Ability Festival will include 47 performances by artists from all over the world who are pioneering inclusive arts. The program is curated into seven focuses, where on Monday we'll be focusing on webinars. On Tuesdays, we have Inclusive South Africa, where we are focusing on South African artists who are doing inclusive artworks. On Wednesday, it's an outcome of a residency that we did with five artists from Tanzania, Botswana, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and a South African Congolese artist. On Thursdays, we have a program we call Inclusive World, where we are showcasing works from all over the world. On Fridays, we have a program called Shift, where it's an outcome of a residency that we did with 10 South African-based artists. On Saturdays, we are focusing a program that we call Ability in Motion, where we are presenting films and documentaries. On Sundays, we have a program we called The Artist of the Week, the performances will be free and they will be streamed online on our YouTube channel. For a more detailed program of the festival, please check our website at www.artsability.com. The main aim of Unmute is to mainstream persons with disabilities because we are part of society and we need to be visible. The festival vision is beyond creating performances that are being presented within the festival. There's an entire process that goes beyond um, presenting these performances and that entails residency programs whereby the company facilitates residency programs with young artists from South Africa and abroad um, to create performances and to train young people on how to create performances that are accessible and inclusive um, for everybody and finding ways to work together with, within one space and creating works that accommodate everybody.
we've also invited and worked with artists from both South Africa and from other African countries, whereby we had residency programs, um, namely um, Inclusive Africa, whereby we worked with artists from different African countries and created works um, within a residency program, which will also be presented as part of the festival. Hi, my name is Andy Le. My surname is Velen. I work with Unmute and my responsibilities are I'm a performer, I'm a choreographer, and I also teach sign dance. In SHIFT program, I work with 10 artists in seven provinces. And we were four mentors. We're doing this program to, to introduce young people, young South African people, to inclusive art. Aside from performances and residencies, there are also um, very educational programs that will also be happening throughout the course of November, whereby we've invited artists who've been pioneering inclusive arts from around the world for many years whereby they will also be facilitating lectures and workshops um, on inclusive work, inclusive dance um, within the festival. My name is Mbutsen Shuping. I'm the founder member of Unmute Dance Theatre. My responsibility is outreach program. For 2020 Arts Ability Festival, it was important for us to look into arts in Africa. We have invited choreographers and teachers from five African countries to facilitate and share their dance practices as part of Inclusive Africa Workshop. We have also partnered with Jabba Muhammad, who is the Provincial Director of Deaf Federation South Africa in the Western Cape. Mr. Muhammad will be teaching basic South African Sign Language, so if you are interested and you want to know about Sign Language, please visit our website. We are honored and privileged to be part of Unmute. Unmute gives a voice to what accessibility should be. Visibility, ability, and to say, this is who we are and this is who I am. I am and I am going to be the person that's going to be survive with equity. Unmute is about equality and equity. Unmute taught artscape. Equality and equity must be visible before you can say you are theatre for the people and accessible for all. We would like to thank all the artists, the art companies who believed in the vision of this festival and who helped us to make this year's edition a possibility. We would also like to thank all the supporters and the sponsors and the funders, the support of the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, the National Arts Council of South Africa, the Artscape Theatre Arts Centre, Survey Philanthropies, and Unmute Dance Company. Be part of this groundbreaking festival. Nothing about us without us. And this is what this festival is about. It's about mainstreaming persons with disabilities' ability and to showcase this is who we are. We're here to stay and we are there to make this world a much more humane space.
Hi, my name is Penat Hisini Maiki So. I'm currently working for Unmute. Uh, my involvement within the festival, I work as a choreographer and a, a teacher and also a performer myself. I got involved with Unmute six years back after finishing the Magnet Theatre training program. Uh, I got to be part of the residency the first year, which was preparing for the Arts Ability Festival. Um, so I got to work with the likes of Kouma and the others, so we created works that were showcased in the festival. After I got to join Unmute as a, as a trainee for, for two years and I got to be a performer for the company. Uh, the work that you're going to be seeing today uh, is the work that I did with the trainees as part of an exploration of how dancers move without seeing. The other two works that you're going to see are done by Titebo Kholi Laletsi and Lita Boshai. So, just need to